Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and I want to dive into some tech specs on the Acer Aspire VX15 gaming laptop. And we'll start out in the system tab here where you'll see the model number is the Acer Aspire VX5 591G with that i5 7300HQ CPU and 16 gigs of RAM. Now that's what it comes with out of the box. You can get the i7 version as well, but I happen to have the i5 version. So the first tool I want to use is HWinfo64. And this is a great little tool to kind of show you all the internals on your PC. And as you can see, this is kind of an overview of everything. Uh, you've got that Intel i5-7300HQ with a four cores. Uh, and uh, it is a KB Lake H. And the TDP is 45 watts on this. And then your cache information is there as well. Six megabytes of L3 cache and then all of your features that it supports. So that is some useful information if you want to dive into the uh, i5. And then you have two uh, graphics cards in this computer, the Intel HD Graphics 630. And then, of course, we have that NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti uh, that will give you uh, 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 SD RAM at a 128-bit memory width. Uh, your ROPs and your TMUs are there, 32 and 48 respectively. And your shaders are at 768. And there are your current clocks as well. Also goes over the memory modules underneath here. Uh, there are two 8 gigabyte Micron Tech sticks in here uh, running in dual channel. They're DDR4 2400 PC4 19200 DDR4 RAM sticks running in dual channel, and of course your timings are there also. Now if you take a look uh, at the i5-7300HQ, uh, base clock is uh, 2500 megahertz, and there are your thermal design power and your power limits. So if you want to look into some of this, I will uh, scroll down uh, and you can take a look at uh, all of the things there that you want to. Your turbo CPU turbo is up to 3.5 gigahertz. And I'll scroll down and you can actually freeze frame some of this if you want to see some of the things that are supported and not supported on this particular CPU. So there was a, quite a lot of information about the CPU. So if you wanted to check that out, you can pause and check that out. Now moving on to memory, we've got two eight gigabyte Micron sticks that are DDR4, 2400 megahertz. And you will see that the current timings on those are 17, 17, 17, and 39 running in dual channel. If we move over to video adapters, you have your integrated graphics card, which is an Intel HD Graphics 630. Uh, so you have that there. And then, of course, you have your NVIDIA uh, 1050Ti with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. And, of course, your 128-bit bus width, your ROPs, your shaders, and your TMUs, which we've already gone over. The drivers here on this GTX 1050Ti I want to point out are from January 19th and there's a reason for that. The 7849 drivers are the drivers that are the most stable for the 1050 and 1050Ti and laptops. The reporting blue screens on the newer 
drivers. I have them here. These are the older drivers. I have these on my desktop and I use these because I was getting blue screens on the new uh, drivers and it's something that you're going to want to watch out for until NVIDIA fixes it. It's not a problem with the laptop. They just haven't worked out the new drivers for the 1050 and 1050 Ti. You have an Intel AC7265 2x2 card here that works very well. Your smart bat or the battery is actually uh, a 54 watt hour battery, which is kind of in the middle of the road. Uh, but I've gotten uh, about five to five and a half hours of video watching on this laptop and uh, about an hour to an hour and a half of game time. So nothing stellar for the battery, but it's about par for the course. So let's take a look at Crystal Disk Mark here uh, for the NVMe SSD 256 gigabyte drive that's in here. Uh, I will speed this up so you guys don't have to watch the entire thing, but the actual speeds on this are very, very impressive. Uh, it is an entry level NVMe drive, uh, but as you can see, the read speeds are, are very exceptional. So I'll speed through this and we'll come back at the end to check that out. For an entry-level NVMe card, the Intel 600P SSD card does very, very well in the read speeds. Write speeds are about on par with a SATA 3 6GB SSD. Another thing I wanted to do is 3D Mark for you guys. and I'm going to use Skydiver for gaming laptops uh, and mid-range PCs. And we're going to run this so that you guys can get an idea of what kind of score or average score that you're going to get on 3D Mark. And I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch the entire thing and then I'll come back at the end. So as you can see here, we got a score of 14,982 on the VX15 gaming laptop by Acer with that GTX 1050 Ti. So not a bad score, pretty solid score for this laptop. Uh, and solid all around with the other scores, including uh, the SSD benchmark. If you want to see any other uh, tests on this laptop, please leave them in the comment section below. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.